Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another episode. Now this is one I've been wanting to do for a long time, um, especially since we moved into this new house, was do a game room tour video. A lot of people have asked for one, but uh, just haven't had the time to do it yet, so I figured now would be a good time. So let's go ahead and get started, and uh, we'll start with this side over here. Now, obviously right there you can see my Street Fighter 1 machine. Um, you guys are pretty familiar with that if you watch the channel at all. Uh, right now it's running my Neo Geo MDS board. Uh, Samurai Showdown 2 is in there right now. Um, but yeah, it works like a charm. Um, still working real good. Uh, anyway, next to that, there's my regular TV with my Xbox and all that hooked up to it. Um, you can see some of my retro systems as well. So there's my Dreamcast down there. Uh, we've got the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and then that's my PC there on the right, my gaming PC. I use that for um, Plex and Steam and all kinds of good stuff. Underneath that, there is my gray Saturn N64. Um, there's the Genesis um, right there with the 32X and all that good stuff. Um, and in here, there's my PC Engine and Super NES. If we move over a little bit here, I'll show you how these are all hooked up. So if we take a quick look behind the TV, you'll see there's my uh, Frame Meister right there. And behind here, you can see there is a G-SCART switch and everything goes RGB into that switch and automatically gets output to either this TV here or I have this small one over here that I also use for recording footage. And as you can see right now, it's playing uh, Virtual On of Dreamcast. Um, oh yeah, I might as well show you guys some of the stuff that's on the walls as well too. So you can see some posters here, some old stuff, some new stuff, and uh, some of my horror stuff. Um, I always like to pick up these um, figures and stuff whenever I get the chance or whenever I see them around. Oh right, also we don't want to forget this. This is the Neo Geo CDZ right here. Uh, right next to that, that orange arcade stick is for the Xbox One. Um, and these drawers right here, these are just filled with mainly like cables. So like, these are all AV cables. Second drawer is power, uh, AC adapters, and then the third one is just extra controllers. So let's uh, keep, keep it moving here. Moving around to this side here, you can see a few more posters here. Um, there's a blank spot in the wall right there. Um, I actually have this really cool um, Shinmu painting that I'm trying to get framed and put right in that spot. So eventually that'll look really cool there, hopefully. All right, so let's move on to the good stuff here. This is probably what you guys came to see. So these are the games. And I'm gonna try and get uh, as good a video as I can here because it can be a little bit cramped, um, as you can see. So first shelf up here is uh, just NES for the most part. So. We've got NES going from up here all the way down here, Famicom carts, uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, DS, and 3DS. There's also a couple of sticks down there. There's an Advantage and a Super Advantage. Um, the next shelf next to it continues on with Nintendo. We've got Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, uh, N64, uh, Wii games, Wii U, Switch, and there's a uh, power pad down there as well. Now moving on, we get to the Sega section here. Uh, right up top here, you can see uh, system boxes and whatnot. Um, those games up there next to the Sarah action figure are actually the uh, Virtua Fighter CG Portrait Series discs. And then right over here, we have the Sega Genesis, the box stuff right here. And then underneath, these are all the cartridges here, along with some uh, Mega Drive imports. Um, yeah, there's a couple over there in the corner, and then underneath that you can see some Sega CD games. Um, all the ones in the regular jewel cases next to them are the CD games that came in cardboard boxes. I just store them like that, uh, just because they're a little easier than, than um, banging up the boxes. I just keep the boxes somewhere else. Uh, next to that, 32X games. Underneath there's some Master System stuff here as well. And underneath that, uh, another stick, that's a Genesis stick. Over here on this side, we get to the second big shelf and the top few rows are just all Sega Saturn. And let me see if I can get a little closer so you guys can get a better view here. Sorry about any lighting. I don't normally do these types of videos, but anyway, so there's the Sega Saturn stuff. Follow it down and we've got Dreamcast. 
And then uh, underneath that, there's some 3DO games, Jaguar games, uh, MVS carts, a couple more box jag Jaguar games. And it's real dark under there, but you can see a Sega Saturn stick and uh, a second Neo Geo um, joystick as well. Uh, up here, oh yeah, I got to definitely show the uh, Double Dragon board game. That's one of my favorite things I have. Um, thanks to my wife for that awesome gift. Um, up here, this is all PC Engine. Um, there's a couple US games here as well, like Fighting Street Cosmic Fantasy 2, um, but mostly all Japanese. Uh, underneath that, of course, Neo Geo CD. Uh, most everything is here. I'm missing a handful of games, uh, but just about everything is there. Uh, underneath that, PlayStation 1 uh, is, and imports as well on top. Um, let's see here. So long boxes there on the left, the regular stuff underneath, and then underneath PS1 is where the PS2 starts. So there's a whole bunch of PS2 games here. Um, let's see, some standouts maybe would be... Oh yeah, here's a funny one. This one here, which I bought for 20 bucks brand new when it came out. Now ended up being one of the most valuable PS2 games out there. It's always the ones you don't expect, right? Anyway, oh right, before I forget, there it actually extends further down here um, into the last shelf. So that PS2 there is a Japanese PS2 that I use just for playing these imports here. Um, the rest of the PS2 stuff obviously is down here, and I'll show you guys the imports. So there's Arcana Heart 2, Power Instinct Match Melee, Fist of the North Star, uh, Melty Blood, Melty Blood 2, The Rumblefish, SVC Chaos, and Taito Memories 2. This was a Japan exclusive as well. So. There's a handful of games that I like to have a Japanese system around to play, um, just because there are a whole bunch of really good fighting games and whatnot that you just can't get uh, in the US. So definitely worth picking up a Japanese system just to play some of those really cool JP exclusives that we never got. Um, behind that, we've got the uh, box for my old silver PS2. And then let's move up to the top of this shelf here. We've got the Neo CD box up there. Um, this is all original Xbox followed by Xbox 360, PS3, and a handful of PS4 games. Um, I don't really do too much with the modern gen as far as physical stuff. I usually stick with uh, digital, it's just a lot easier, and that way I can save the shelf space for the, uh, the games that need it, like the old stuff. But anyway, let's keep on moving over here to the desk. Um, you can see up here, um, got a Virtual Boy sitting up there, a few extra consoles sitting up here. Uh, this is another Neo CD, my original US uh, Saturn, and my original N64. The one that's hooked up to the TV over there is actually RGB modded. Um, so up here we've got the Super Advantage box, the Tatsunoko versus Capcom stick, the Zapper, extra Saturn controller box. Uh, we've got some Nintendo Powers here. And at the desk we've got my Duo R, that one's still stock. Uh, this right here is a Japanese PlayStation 1, um, and there's the Atari Jaguar. And underneath that here is the CRT. This is what I use for anything that's, you know, obviously non-RGB. So, this is my AV Famicom, which is running right now. And then next to that over here is my uh, OG Master System, and it's got Shinobi in there right now. Next to that, this is the box for my Super Nintendo, the Killer Instinct set. Okay. And we've just got a couple of more quick things to show you guys. I've been trying to kind of make this video quick. Um, that right there is just a closet. I just keep extra parts and stuff in here too. Um, I've got a couple of the one-up arcade machines. I got these during Black Friday um, last year for a really good deal. These are perfect for my daughter too, who's, who's just starting to learn Mortal Kombat and um, Strider and that kind of stuff. So. Uh, over here, this is the last thing I guess I can show you guys. This is just kind of a spare console rack. Uh, over here we've got uh, PS1. That's my original NES from when I was a kid. Um, this is a Japanese 3DO. Thank you, Luke Morse, for that one. Uh, yet another Neo CD that makes three. And my slim Xbox 360. Underneath that is the Sega Genesis Model 1, original Xbox, Genesis Model 3, the Wii, and a Japanese white Sega Dreamcast. The one over on the TV is a black US Sports Edition one. 
Underneath that, if you guys are wondering what these are, if you follow the channel for a while, you know this is how I organize my arcade boards, but yeah, these are arcade boards, and I've just found that this is the easiest way to store them. I just get these free boxes from the post office and wrap them up and stick them inside with some Velcro. Um, so you can see some of the games there, Pit Fighter, Fighter's History, uh, Ninja Gaiden, Tekken Tag. Don't pay attention to the Crime Fighters, that's actually a wrong label. Um, I, I used to have a Crime Fighters board, but I ended up trading it for a Power Instinct 2 board. I just haven't updated the label, so it's actually a Power Instinct 2 board that's in there. Um, on top of that, there's a Guardians of the Hood, uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Bloodstorm, Time Killers, Combat Tribes, Tough Turf, and you can't have a game room without Double Dragon, so you gotta have that. Anyway, that should about do it, so I will give you guys a quick you know, pan around here, just to get one good kind of final look. And yeah, so this is where I spend the majority of my time. This is not just a game room, but it's actually my office. Um, I work from home, um, have done so even before this whole pandemic thing. So this is a great spot to work um, for sure. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the little tour here and uh, we'll see you next time. So thanks so much, guys. And until then, you know what to do. Stay classic.